Hey, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon. Welcome to Kids Stay Home. Hi, welcome to Kids Stay Home. I'm Wendy and today I'm going to share with you some ideas on how to create your own mask out of cardboard and recycled materials. This is Ruben. Um, this kind of mask is um, slightly different. It's what I call the off your face mask and I added some um, netting I found somewhere uh, to give the mask a little bit of personality and wear it like a costume. What we have here is a piece of big cardboard, scissors, metal ruler, pen knife, and glue gun. For those who doesn't have any glue gun, uh, not to worry can actually improvise with some gaffer tape or um, masking tape to support your mask. First thing first, uh, we are going to make a crown and this crown is going to wrap around your head. Uh, we will need your metal ruler and your pen knife. We will need a long strip down across uh, and the thickness is about 5.5 cm. So a long um, strip like this and then you're going to measure around your head uh, until you're happy with the size. Um, make sure it's not too tight or too loose and I'm going to glue it down this area. Be careful when you are handling um, a glue gun because it's really really hot and it will burn you. Make sure that it's um, completely dry before you put it back on your head. I'm going to cut away this remaining area. Alright, there you go. Because this is an above your head mask and um, the mask tend to be relatively heavy and we want to make another strap that support the bottom part of your head so that um, to prevent the mask from falling off. Cut another stripe. Yeah. This strap is about um, 50 cm and we are going to um, glue it down this area, something like that. So these are the excess, I'm going to cut it away. And we are going to glue the edge area here, like this. All right. So there you go. So as you can see, it actually support the back of um, the bottom part of my head. So right now, my crown is really, really secure. So anything that I built um, above my face is not going to fall. Now we are going to make another two more pieces and glue it at the side uh, of the crown. Same thing about this size. I'm going to strip it down. Be careful also when you are using your uh, pen knife. So what we're going to do next is to um, do these two sides like that. I'm going to glue down this area. Oh. So um, I tend to be a bit clumsy when I do my craft <laughs> and messy. But it's okay, um, everybody is different. As you can see, um, this two piece can be um, flimsy and you don't want it to wobble around. So we are going to have another piece to put across this area like another bridge uh, to secure it. So what I have here is um, this piece that is slightly thicker to uh, hold uh, these two bridges down, these two horns down. Just uh, secure at the bottom here. You can now, we are ready to make our mask. We can create any kind of mask. Uh, you might want to do a human mask or animal mask uh, of any kind of shape and size. So you can draw an oval shape first on the cardboard. What I like to do usually is um, cut it um, by feeling. 
So I will use a pen knife and cut an oval shape. I usually like my stuff to be asymmetrical um, so that it has more character. Um, and just push up the edges. You're done. Always remember to be careful whenever you are using pen knives. Usually what I would do is to um, bend it to give the mask a little bit of personality and so that to make it more 3D. Uh, what you can do is you can do a light, light cut across so that it will bend it um, nicely for you as well. These two tabs it's going to hold your face mask like this. Ta-da! And we have our mask. Done! You're gonna give the face mask uh, a pair of eyes. Um, again, you can draw the eyes first of any shapes and sizes. Uh, so for today, I'm gonna give this face mask a circle, a big and a small one. Usually I would not throw this uh, away because uh, we can actually use this as the ears. So what you're going to do is cut uh, these two sides like that, push it in and glue this thing down. So the same thing, just cut these two sides and we're going to stick it in. It looks a bit like Reuben now. I gave them a uh, pair of ears. So next, we are going to make the nose. You can actually use anything um, you can find at home. Um, like for instance, um, uh, recycled paper like this and stick it on. Um, I like to uh, keep a lot of weird things. Like for instance, this is the coffee cup holder. So when you bent it and I actually like this side of it because it has a lot of texture and I can straight away put it on like this to make the nose. And these are, these are like a kind of crescent. Um, usually it gives a bit of um, like wrinkles over here like what Ruben has. So you can cut all this and um, paste it underneath um, the eye which is gonna look like this. Or you can actually use this as eyebrows as well. All right, there you go. So now we are ready to bring back this uh, crown and stick it on them like this. Like that, something like that. And if you don't like how it looks, uh, you can always um, paint it over. So now, we are done. There are many ways uh, to beautify your mask. You can paint it over, add some cheeks as well. And you can also draw a mouth over here. What I like to do is to put some accessories like these are dried flowers. So you can use any kind of uh, accessories like jewels etc. Uh, to give the mask a little bit more character. What I like also is to have my mask uh, with a little bit more texture like you can see over here. Um, you can peel off the surface of the mask over here and paint it over to make it uh, look a little bit older. So today we have learned how to make Ruben. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy yourself. Have fun and explore and feel free to send us a picture of your mask. Hey, we hope that you enjoyed the video. If you decided to make something from this video, submit your creations and stand a chance to be featured in our videos. Hashtag kids stay home or three pumpkins on your post in Facebook or Instagram. Set your post to public so we can see it and tag two friends to pass on the fun. 
We'll see you next time on Kids Stay Home. Bye bye.